Hey guys, it's your humble host, or Kayla if you prefer. So I'm back with another video real quick. I wanted to talk about a uh, Facebook conversation that I've been having. And don't worry, I'm not going to dox anybody. All the names have been redacted or any personal info or whatever. But I wanted to point something out, and this was on a public post that someone on my Facebook shared and I'll be putting the link to the post in the description below for you guys to go and look at for yourselves and what it has to do with is supposedly what women have to do in order to go out versus what men have to do um, as you can see men supposedly have nothing to worry about they don't even have to think about it according to this list um women have to hold my keys as a potential weapon which a lot of us don't do check the back seat before getting in the car well you know you should lock the doors when you exit your vehicle this won't be a problem and a lot of cars now have it to where you can just unlock the driver's seat so that'll solve that problem Always carry a cell phone. Um, everybody has to do this. Anytime you go out, a cell phone is recommended for everybody. It's not just women. Don't go jogging at night. Um, this is pretty typical, once again, for both men and women and children. It's not safe anywhere at night so much anymore due to neighborhoods going to shit as well as communities. Lock the windows when I sleep, even on hot nights. Um, have you tried a screen or maybe a window AC that screws into the window itself. You know, this is pretty typical. Husbands do have to worry about this. That's why we have concealed carry and uh, the possession of firearms. Everybody has to worry about this shit, not just women. Golly, don't you love it how women are made always to be the victims? It's never the guys. Don't you fucking love this shit? Uh, be careful not to drink too much. Guys have to worry about this too. You have... Gay men that prey on each other. You have gay women that prey on each other. I mean, holy freaking crap. Um, never put my drink down and come back to it. Well, this is pretty much a standard rule anytime you go to a party or to a bar. Make sure I see my drink being poured. Again, both genders have to worry about this. Own a big dog. Uh, no, this is not a requirement. If anything, just make sure you keep some sort of weapon in your house or in your car if you are licensed to carry, you can still carry. Again, both sides have to worry about this. Carry mace and pepper spray. Recommended for everybody. Have an unlisted number. Um, no, this isn't really required. Just don't give your number out to people you don't know. Have a male voice on my answering machine. Uh, okay, never heard of this tactic being used, but okay then. Park and wallet areas. Well, once again, that goes for everybody. Um, anybody can get mugged in a parking lot. Happens with both men and women. People get freaking shot. Never use parking garages. Again, both sides have to worry about this. I've been at conventions to where everybody had to freaking watch their back because it was in Seattle. Just make sure you observe the environment around you. Um, don't get on elevators with a lone man, a group of men. What in the actual what? Okay then. Actually, and the guys, speaking for the guys nowadays, I wouldn't recommend getting into an elevator full of women either if we're gonna go that route. Uh, very my route home from work. Um, you just have to make sure that you know how your route is and know what alternate route if shit goes to hell. I mean, both genders have to worry about this. Watch what I wear. Um, how about, you know, keeping yourself moderately covered? Um, don't dress like a floozy. I wanted to say another word, but uh, for the most part, you can wear what you want. But if you garner unwanted attention due to your clothes, maybe you should change your clothes. Not saying you deserve to be assaulted, but if you don't want to get stared at in a particular way, maybe you need to change up your outfits just a bit. Guys can dress like floozies too this good lord uh don't use highway rest areas um typically these are for truckers um anybody driving 
uh, a big camper long trip. They're both gender use these. Just once again, observe your environment. Uh, make sure you observe what is going on. And if you need to stay in your car, stay in your fucking car. Both genders have to worry about this. Let's see, have a new uh, home alarm system. Again, especially couples with children. I grew up with an alarm in my house and I had both my mother and my father. It's just common practice and common sense to put an alarm in your home if you're able to do so. Good grief. Uh, don't wear headphones when jogging. Well, no freaking shit. Um, I was told this growing up, especially when walking home by yourself, going for both men and women, um, young teens, anybody who likes to go jogging on the neighborhoods or the cities for exercise. Again, observe your environment. I don't know how many times I have to fucking say this shit. Avoid wooden areas, even in the daytime. Eh, wooden areas... I don't go jogging wooden areas and just everybody has to watch their back. Never rent first floor apartments. What the fucking shit? What does that even mean? You can't be on the first floor. Oh my god, this is stupid. Only go out in groups. Ugh, I do remember that being hammered into my head. But once again, you know, I, I will tell this story. Um... My brother actually got jumped by a few guys uh, when I still lived with my parents, when I used to live um, in a state that was not Illinois. Like, it was a group of guys. Men jump each other. Men have to worry about that shit. And as you can see in the conversation um, here in the next few, I point something out very important that these feminists or these women who claim, oh, men don't have to worry about anything, really need to consider. Anyway, let's continue on. Own a firearm. That goes for everybody. It is encouraged if you are able to get your hands on a firearm, do so, especially with the way that things are going nowadays. Um, always meet men for the first dates in a public place. Men, always meet women in a public place on the first date. Considering how guys can have their lives royally fucked over on the accusation of rape, you know, this is pretty typical for anyone who's trying to date nowadays. First date, meet in a public place and assess whether or not you're going to take it from there. Pretty standard, not just for women. Um, make sure to have cab fare. Um, once again, both genders, if you guys are going out to drink, Men with men, women with women, what, whatever. Freaking always have a backup plan just in case all of you get drunk. Uh, never make eye contact with men on the street. Um, yeah, if you want to be fucking paranoid, I mean, holy crap, you have men that get accused of staring when they make eye contact. You know how stupid this fucking crap is? You really... Ugh. Anyway, let's continue on. Um make sure my family knows my itinerary. Okay, that that is beyond fucking paranoia. That really is. Um, if anything, just make sure you have them on speed dial if shit happens. Once again, though, guys have to call in for help. Guys have to uh, call for their friends to come get them out of trouble. I mean, holy shit. Have extra locks on my doors and windows. Pretty typical for a household, whether you're a girl or guy. Deadbolt, latch, sometimes security system. It depends on the fucking neighborhood you live in. Girl or guy, man or woman. This is typical for everybody, not just women. Oh, the poor women's. Make sure my garage door is closed all the way before I drive away. Uh, once again, this is pretty standard for... Anybody who drives out of their house, out of their garage, or their stuff gets fucking stolen. It actually happened to my dad with some of his fucking tools. Because uh, somebody accidentally left the garage door open. But you get my point. This isn't just something women have to fucking do. Crap. Make sure my garage door is closed all the way before I get out of my car. Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna accidentally photoshop something. Leave outside lights on all night. Okay, so that's another one that people, everyone has to do. Um, I leave my porch light on, my husband leaves a porch light on. Um, it's pretty typical, and especially from what I've seen of a lot of elderly folk, especially men, they install the security lights outside of the home. Men! 
It's not just women. I fucking hate this victim shit. Okay. So like I said, you guys can read this shit in the post. I'm not going over. I'm going to go over the conversation. So there is, for the majority, there's me and two other people. Their names and photos have been redacted. I want these people found. I'm not out to freaking dox anybody. I want to point something out. Um... So I'm going to try to go through this as quick as possible, but also just to make sure you guys see what I'm saying here. Um, obviously, these are me. Both men and women have to worry about this in general, especially in shady places of towns and neighborhoods. I'm so tired of this. Women can only be the victim narrative. Also, I look through the list. Seriously, some of these are ridiculous and I have never heard of people doing. I get left alone and I'm also aware of where not to go out at night. Men have to worry about the same crap, shaking my head. Oh, and let me say this, certain men do have to watch where they walk or they get shot dead, especially in gang riddled areas. Ever been in a gang territory, everybody has to watch the back and make sure they don't bring unwanted attention to themselves. Pretty standard if you live in a gang riddled area. I used to live in a gang territory while going to job courts, and as I mentioned before, I went to the Paul Simon Job Corps, and the area I lived in had five freaking gangs. You know who got harassed the most? The guys. Doesn't matter what fucking color you were, the guys got harassed. They're the ones who were constantly watched and honked at. And if you live in Chicago and you go in those areas, when you see a Latino strolling down the street in a car honking at you, it don't mean he like you. It means he's fucking watching you. And I'm not being racist. Um, anybody who's lived in Chicago, lived in the area that I'm referring to, you know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. And I'm sure it's the same in a lot of other gang riddled areas. Uh, the guys have had it worse than the girls walking through town due to them being considered more of a threat and possible troublemaker. Reality, a lot of people need to learn real quick what that is and how the world really works. Uh, first person, that is a really good perspective. And it's something that a lot of feminists and people who want to claim that men are the only predators don't fucking take into account. Um, I say thanks. Um, someone else, this is a second person and this is who I want you to pay attention to. Because uh, this is the main person that I'm going to be freaking arguing with. Um... Second person, I don't think it's unfair to say most men don't understand the checklist a woman goes through to try to stay safe, but there are men who have their own. And sometimes on that checklist with men, there's even more crap they have to do, depending on the area that they're in. Once again, it's not just women. Even in the safest areas, women still have this fear where a man would not. Bull fucking shit. Bullshit. Every man, my husband carries around a fucking pocket knife if he's able to. I carry on a pocket knife. There's many people here in my town that are can still carry both man and woman because people are fucking nuts. Women are not just the victims. Good lord, I hate this shit. Uh, and this is them again. Second person, and another thing, no matter who has a checklist of ways to protect themselves while out and about, how many of those people can say it's predominantly to protect themselves from a woman? Um, well, considering how more and more women, especially the feminists, are getting fucking unhinged, and men have to take more precautions when going out with women, because they can get really fucked over from rape accusations and uh, false accusations of assault, I see the guys have it worse a lot more nowadays than the women. How about you? Um, me. Women can be predators too and assault people too. Um, go poke around the LGBT community and I'm sure you'll find plenty of stories. Women are not the only victims. They even attack men. Find some sense of reality. Please. And they respond again. Once again, this is the second person. I worked as an administrative assistant to the chief of resident treatment in Mc McNeil's Island Special Commitment Center for a few years. If you didn't know, it's a co-ed facility that houses Washington's level of sexually violent predators. It's a facility of 373 men and one woman. Um, and let me point something out too, because I didn't bring this up and I wanted to in the conversation. Go look, go look through several uh, registries of pedophiles. You're starting to see a lot more of uh, women's faces in there. This is one area. They tried to come at me saying that they worked in one area for over two years, one specific area, nowhere else, and they're trying to tell me that um, men are more predominantly predators than women. Oh no, 
women have shot that number way up over the years thanks to feminism and if you think i'm reaching there no because of the way that women get treated and how far they're allowed to destroy a man's life and what they're allowed to get away with nowadays holy fucking shit has that number gone through the roof if you don't think my sense of reality is intact i challenge you to work there for more than two years well again only one area not several Part of my job was running the Offender Watch program for SEC to keep track of those individuals on and off the island and alert victims when they are being released. I entered them into sex offender database. Once again, one freaking database when there are several. I don't know how many databases I've been through and I'm starting to see more and more women show up for molesting their kids, pimping out their kids, abusing their kids, killing their kids. Oh yeah, like I said, women are starting to meet men up in that department. So as I said, women are not innocent. Okay, so, I, so I'm not exactly what you call an ignorant to the subject. I state, that's just one area, man. My point still remains, men do get preyed upon too. Let me ask you this and you go dig into it. What happens when men go to seek help for being domestically abused or preyed upon? I'll give you the quick answer. They're either laughed at, mocked, chased away, or told that they can never be vic- uh, that they can never be victims because they are men. Go dig further and see for yourself. Women are not innocent of this garbage either. Um, second person, lol, okay, well I'm gonna let you keep your purple sky, have a blessed night. Uh, me, you two, I guess. I'll enjoy my purple sky while you enjoy your pink one. I also stated what, what's funny is you're going to gloss over what I mentioned about the men. Feminist by chance? I wouldn't be surprised if that answer is yes. I am an anti-feminist and anti sgw by the way. And I was legitimately asking because of the way that she was talking, um, her mentality, because this was a woman that I was speaking with on this subject. Um, just took a drunken tea. Second person, I don't care, and feminist used to be an insult, but I've become okay with the term because there's nothing wrong with lifting other women up when so many try to beat us down. No, many of us who are anti-feminist tell you guys to get a fucking grip, because you guys want to scream and holler about the patriarchy, how men are the only oppressors, how women are fucking innocent, all be easier on the women, no, no. I'm not going to insult you, I'm just going to say that I pray that when my 10 year old daughter is in high school that your word will have become truth, that men will assault women as often as women assault men. They're pretty much trying to imply with that statement, or what she's trying to imply, is that women assault way less than men. And that may have been true at one point in time, but nowadays, (laughs) there's no fucking way. No, as we've seen, the more articles come out of uh, women attacking men, whether it be for men spreading. Um, currently, this was a month or so ago, that girl raping her ex-boyfriend at knife point with the machete. I mean, <laughs> hello? Reality's changed. It's time you learn what it is, and I'm dead fucking serious, man. Um, because that, my friend, will be a harmonious time. Yeah, if you want to live in La, La Land. If it's still as it is and has been, I pray she will be a feminist, which, oh my god, I wouldn't wish that shit on anybody, and fight for her and her sisters, right, to never have to be that one in five women who are sexually assaulted. Um, good god. I pray she never downplays sexual abuse, which I wasn't doing either. I pray she reports if she's abused, which I agree. If you did, if you do get assaulted, go to the cops. Um, I pray she knows that she can come to her mega feminist mother who will believe her and defend her if it does happen until the day I die. My feminist, I am now, and uh, I, this one has no, no idea what the fuck she's claiming. Uh, shaking my head. You'll have to learn for yourself. I'm all for people keeping their hands to themselves. I hope she learns the truth for herself and not let people spoon feed her BS. You can fight for women without trying to flash the victim card and become a professional victim. I hope she does learn to actually be strong and not give way to the victimhood that feminists have so self-righteously adopted for themselves. And it is feminist thinking to believe that men don't suffer just as much as women do. Fun fact, there's hardly any domestic shelters for men while there are plenty for women. And that is true, by the way. Anytime they try to set one up, the feminists will scream about it. And I point that out here too. 
Anytime they want to make one for men, guess who's the first people to decry it? The feminists who want to scream about patriarchy and such. I'm not trying to insult you. Your view is just one-sided and unrealistic. I hope you do see what's really going on in soon. And if you're claiming the mantle of a feminist, I highly suggest you look into what you're standing for, for real. Use your logic rather than your emotions. Also, look into what happens when women do attack men. They get a slap on the wrist and compared to how men are charged and treated by the court systems. Women, for the most part, are able to walk away scot-free. Don't believe me? Look into the chick that raped her ex-boyfriend at knife point with a damn machete. I'm serious. Look into the crap you're claiming to now stand by and claim. You just might learn something new. Cheers. And I also put, also just notice how you confirmed how you care nothing for what goes on with how men are treated when they are abused and attacked. Yep, definitely a feminist. Good luck. You're going to need it. Uh, first person comes back in, so this has turned personal. I respond, not personal, I'm a past survivor myself, she's thinking more with emotion than with logic and reality. I'm serious, go research on this stuff. This is why more and more women are being allowed to walk away or are just given a slap on the wrist. They're not like men, they're just victims. Seriously, this crap needs to stop. As a past survivor, I'm not going to adopt a freaking victimhood mentality and act like every man is out there to get me. Yes, there are men that are pieces of shit, but there are women who are also the same. Also, false rape and sexual assault claims are becoming more and more on the rise as a means to destroy men or to get revenge on them. I'm very passionate about this subject. I'm so tired of this garbage as it affects my ability along with the legitimate victims of sexual abuse to be taken seriously and heard. Everybody has to take precautions when going out. It's called being observant and aware of the environment you're in, which is true, whether day or night, man or woman. You have to constantly observe your environment and the changes. This is not an option, man or woman. And so I thought this was the end of it. And then second person posts again. And just, I love the fucking arrogance of this woman. I really do. Um, shortly after my assault, I had the same mentality. It's a coping mechanism. You see it in a lot of people who are sexually assaulted. Not all. It's their way of trying to take their power back by pretending that they are somehow better than other victims of assault, which was not what I was doing often lashing out on them. It's more of a projection of how they feel about themselves. At first, I was kind of put off by her attitude, but after reading these comments, I understand why she is a self-proclaimed anti-feminist. LOL, I literally said the exact same thing. It's embarrassing to admit, though. And this is my final thing that I put. Um, I'm not projecting anything, nor am I lashing out. It's not a coping mechanism line. Feminism will never speak for me or, or my experience, and no fucking bullshit. I, there's a reason why I don't associate with the fucking Me Too crap. I was going to, and I thought it was to bring uh, education about the side effects of sexual abuse until I saw what was being fucking done with it. No, it can go freaking die in a fire. Um, uh, they are about control and have no idea how to deal with their own pain and problems. Nice try to assume shit, though. Try again. I'll never be a feminist with the shit I've seen from them. And I never will. The way that men are treating or being treated um emasculated being told that their masculinity is toxic um that they are being made into pretty much monsters told that they are potential predators that we have little boys being taught not how to rape um instead of teaching both little boys and little girls how to respect each other and boundaries and you know common logic and things like that um I'm brainwashed, right? Shaking my head. Honestly, I don't think I'm better than anyone else that has gone through something similar, if not worse than I. And I believe I have stated it on my channel that there are far worse stories than mine. There are victims who have been through much, much worse. And I fucking know that. I do not act like I have been through the worst possible circumstances. I know that there are worst horror stories out there. I do not act like I'm better than anybody. Anybody who has been on my channel long enough knows I don't fucking do that. Yeah, I'm an asshole and I can get pretty damn cranky, but I do not act like I'm fucking better than anybody else, especially other victims. Go fuck yourself. Oh my god. Uh, god, I just lost my place. Mm, okay, I found it. Um, but I do know better not to seek revenge on everyone else, especially men. Uh, for no treatment a certain way because of it meaning I don't demonize them and act like every one of them could come out and rape me I've grown past a lot of my pain and shame still learning how to do it But feminism is not the answer to healing and moving forward. I respect the difference between 
men and women and understand why men are physically stronger. Feminists, however, do not. Don't assume anything based upon your own experience or chosen path, if you will. You are projecting onto me, no. Check yourself before you come over to my neck of the woods. And that, that was, uh, I posted that a while ago and I was trying to figure out how to uh, show this on screen or whatnot, but I wanted to point this out because this is what feminists fucking do every single time that you try to tell them like, oh, hey, I'm a survivor just like you, but this is how I feel, this is how I think based on what I've experienced, based on my growth, going past my pain, I don't think this way, I don't feel like every, the world is out to fucking get me. And no, I have, because I was talking to my husband about it, is I have um, grown past a lot of, um, whoopsie, different, things. I have grown past um, a lot of pain, if you will. So for someone to come out and say, oh, well, you pretty much don't think like me or I said the same things you did. So you're projecting. No. When I was in a worse state um, than I am now, when I wasn't as much grown or as I could say, uh, better coping, well not coping, but move past a lot of my pain and shame, I spotted the same fucking shit you did. A lot of the shit that feminists say nowadays, oh, well, um, I don't need a man, blah, 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 uh, uh, men are this, men are that, blah, 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 blah. I saw the exact same fucking shit when I was younger, when I wasn't as grown as I am now. That's the difference. It just, what makes me mad is the fucking arrogance. And I what I did this video not to like lambast. I, like I said, I'm not out for doxing people. I purposely redacted any personally, excuse me, personal info, but I wanted to point something out because this is something, as I said, feminists constantly do and it makes me fucking mad because it's like, no, you're devaluing my growth. You're invalidating my mature rate, this thing that I have learned to move past. If you are constantly living in fear, if you are constantly paranoid because of your past trauma, you have fucking issues that you have not fucking dealt with. Oh my God, this is nearly a half an hour. I'm gonna cut it off here, but I hope that you guys can see what I'm talking about, once again, this is, I wanted to point it out because this is fucking important. I'm all for women getting the proper help. And yes, there are men who pe who are pieces of shit and there are women who are pieces of shit. Um, I have no issue with people helping women coming forward with their stories, legitimate victims, and people who actually want to work past their pain past their shame and not adopt some fucking victimhood. I'm all for that. But this other garbage can go die in a fire. Oh, I'm fucking done. Sorry, guys.